thank you and we give you our love. You have never failed your children who sought your help. Our Lady of the Mapakan, now enshrined in the Church of Luna, La Union, is actually the tallest statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the Philippines. Standing 6 feet 2 inches tall, it is carved entirely of soft wood from Madrid. Our Lady of the Mapakan, as she is popularly called, is a beautiful image of the Virgin Mary venerated in our parish in Luna, La Union. She is lovingly referred to as Apo Bakat, which is an Ilocano way of paying respect to an elderly woman. Namakpakan is the original name of the town of Luna and is an Ilocano word with an accent on the last syllable meaning one who feeds. The prodigious image is believed to have been brought to the Philippines from Acapulco, Mexico in 1871 she is actually Our Lady of Immaculate Conception from the form of the image, the woman crushing head of the serpent. During a stopover of the boat in the Rigayos to seek shelter from a storm, the image being transported was said to have been stuck to its base and could hardly be moved. Local church officials then decided to have the image enthroned at the main altar of the church built in 1741 in the town we named Luna in 1906. From then on, miraculous interventions were attributed to her, such as conversion of heathens, curing the lame, giving drink to the thirsty and food to the hungry herself, especially in times of adversity and personal apparitions, confirming her glorious privilege of the Immaculate Conception. I came here for the first time, and when I saw her from afar, because I knelt at the last view of the church, I said, why is she small? I thought you said that she was big. And the one with me, the former wife of the mayor of Bangar, Mrs. Lucina, said, Ay na ading, the girl ni Apo Bakit. And so we went near her and saw that she is one of the tallest virgins that depicts Mama Mary. I was so honored when I was asked by the Parish Pastoral Council of Luna if I could assist the papal nuncio in crowning our mother. And I looked at Monsignor Laksamana and I said, Monsignor Mons, you know very well that I just fractured my leg. It is in a cast. How can I assist in the coronation? And he said, Name Bagkanton Mana. And that means you will be well, Mana, by the time of November and I fractured my foot September 9 and so on the very last day on the day of the coronation oh, they removed the cast and I had that honor of crowning the Blessed Mother. I would like to say that was the miracle that I felt and I would like to thank the people of Luna for having given me that chance of assisting the papal nuncio in crowning Our Lady of Namakbakan. A year 2016 nang na-stroke yung pangalawang anak ko. At kay Apo Bakat talaga kami nagpatulong uh, sa pamamagitan ng tubig sa balon ni Mama Mary. Yun ang palagi namin ipinapainom, pinapaligo sa kanya, at napakadali ang kanyang paggaling. Sa ngayon, nakabalik na siya sa kanyang trabaho bilang nurse at umaasa kami sa Panginoon at kay Mama Mary 
na sana tuloy-tuloy ng kanyang paggaling at paglakas. Ang sinabi niya sa akin ni Mama Mary, Anak, pumunta ka sa balon ko at kumuha ka ng tubig para iaplos mo sa paa mo para muling makatayo at makalakad ka. Yun ang umpisa na pagkalakad ko dahil isang taon mahigit na hindi ako nakatayo at nakalakad. Yun lang ang tumulong sa akin, maski man malalakas na midi ko, kung wala kang dalangin sa may kapal, wala rin mangyayari. Kaya ang nagpagaling sa akin, walang iba kundi si Mama Mary. Silang daw ang mag-aina. Several miracles were attributed also to Our Lady of Namakpangan. When several igorots from different settlements started to come down to Namakpangan to be baptized, They claimed they met a tall woman who told them to go to Namakpagan. And upon seeing her statue, they exclaimed, There, that's the beautiful lady who came to our place, giving us food, and who bade us to come down to this place to be baptized. Tungkol naman kay Rosa Rodan, na ipanganak si Rosa Rodan na Pilay. Nang isang araw, may dumating na matanda, nahihingi ng tubig kasi nauhaw siya. Ang sabi ni Rosa Lordland sa kanya, kung pwede, umakyat ka na lang sa bahay at ikaw muna ang kumuha ng tubig dahil ako ay hindi makatayo at makalagat. Noong umiinom ng matanda, tama-tama na naitulo sa paa ni Rosa Lordland. Iyon ang umpisa ng pagkatayo ni Rosa Lordland para makalakad na muli. Ever since I heard a lot of miracles, being attributed to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Most of them are actually about physical healing. But what I would like to emphasize more would be the miracles that have happened within or internally. If we try to look at the Bible, the real miracles that happened would be it's because of their faith. While Jesus would be healing them in their physical ailments, we always hear our Lord Jesus Christ telling them, It is your faith that healed you. Whenever we are confronted with trials and difficulties, the Blessed Virgin Mary, who is our mother, will also be saying us what she said to our Lord when He was carrying His cross. She will say to us, Do not worry, I am here. Dear yes, our Lady of the Extend your loving hands on us all, and grant us your mother's blessing, now and until the end of our life's journey. Amen. Just as Apu Bakhet went up to the mountains to invite the indigenous peoples to come down and be converted, Monsignor Mons Laksamana thought, of bringing Apu Bakat to all the different places in the United States and Canada to ask them to come to Luna on the 150th anniversary from her arrival. She arrived in 1871 and in 2021, let us all celebrate Apu Bakat's arrival at Luna, which was then called Namakpakan, the place where Our Lady now feeds. <laughs>